Dum dum com com bom bom. My life for years and continue to change my life. It's something about changing your sexual desire, your sexual energy, transmuting it, changing it into something else, whether it's for mental health, whether it's for physical health, whatever it is, starting a new business, just whatever it is, as long as it's positive, it's for the best. Okay, so... Uh -oh. Make sure that we propel ourselves to our higher self. What I mean by higher self, let's do this for 2020, guys. You know, propel yourself to a higher self. Make sure that, you know, your life is a positive. I don't have any remorse. What, why are the reasons why people will be pissed off? I think he really needs to look, reflect, and maybe have an understanding that some people don't like things where minors, no matter if you feel they are consenting and they're down and, you know, it's all good. And, you know, they, they, they were okay with it and they knew what was going on. At the end of the day, they're still people with undeveloped brains. Um, the only time I ever heard of... Why are, you, why are people being warned of tragic? What's tragic doing? You know what? I I did have tragic on and I was also warned of tragic. But here's the thing about this community. I think you need to develop your, your bonds yourself and let go of what other people are telling you. Depends on your feelings of the situation. Some people are going to say, hey, it's a child. There is no consent. While other people are like, well, 17 years old. They they wanna be hoeing, so they're they're gonna hoe. It's either they're gonna be hoeing with me or they're gonna be hoeing with somebody else. Bum bum gum gum dum dum big boy hmm? big boy dum dum gum gum hmm? Buckle up bitches, I'm sure we're gonna go for a motherfucking ride. Okay? Get your hands inside the cart. Please sit still, make sure you're buckled in, let's go. <laughs> Karma's a bitch. Carrie Crooks, known as Monty or Stories from the Internet, resides in the Toronto or Brampton area and has been a creator on the platform for several years now. I've covered him on my channel in the past. He had quite the extensive resume, but instead of working at a legit occupation, he decided to be a boss babe on the internet, selling coaching programs teaching young men how to live their best life and get women. He even pretended to be a different looking dude on his webpage, and we can't see why, I mean. Who could resist this bod, am I right, ladies? Recently, there has been some new drama and Monty found himself covering the Kaya Simons life situation. I also covered that in the past so you can check that out too. I want to just take a moment and talk about these new developments in the story of Monty, the nofap incel, and his adventures on the internet. Oh, did I mention he also did nofap? Well... For those that are unaware, I often cover the no fat movement on my channel and I have a great time doing so. It's awesome that our boy Monty here was also into it. So here we have r slash man versus fap and it's posted by Strategic Millennio two years ago and that was Monty's name on here before he started YouTube. The post is called The Defined Jawline, yeah, because he has one of those. Anyway, let's just continue on. When you practice nofap, not only do you get clearing and more radiant skin, but your jawline will be defined and sculpted. A study published in the journal Nature Communications discovered that men with high levels of the hormone testosterone and certain stress hormones also have stronger immune systems and tend to have more masculine facial features such as a strong jawline. The study further alludes to this mixture of hormones helping men attract more women. 
The jawline is a powerful thing. It can allude to strength or weakness by whoever perceives it. Strong chins with a defined jawline are often associated with dominance and power. People with strong jaws are often assumed to have assertive personalities, are seen as successful, and are commonly considered to be more attractive. On the other hand, weak jaws are associated with people who are timid and easily controlled. And of course, women prefer men with a strong jawline. Furthermore, many other no-fappers are noticing a change in their jawlines are getting better and stronger each day. Yeah, okay, like it changes your whole jawline. Listen, you just need to go to horny jail. You would think that that would be the end of it, but no, he shares his opinions on women and the world further with us on this website where he does this article called How to Attract Women and a Great Social Circle. He has a stock image of what I can only imagine is his dream woman that he'll never get, and it reads, Every guy typically has two goals, that is to meet beautiful women and to meet awesome and to meet like-minded men who they can share and pursue common goals with. I say every guy should have three goals and in this order, pursue excellence and be healthy in both mind and body, meet like-minded men that they can be successful with, and to meet high quality beautiful women. If you want to meet beautiful women, then why not meet beautiful women of quality? The women who know they are beautiful, yet they will not be of low standards and quality. The type of women that carry themselves well in social environments. The type of women that enjoy a night out at places that require formal dress wear or at the very least a dinner jacket. Upgrade your social network was by intentionally putting myself in certain types of environments. For example, join the local rotary or yacht club close to or in the financial district of your city, or join an affluent squash or tennis club, or even a fancy golf or country club. That way you will mix and mingle with people who pursue success and that, at the very least, will rub off on you. Use your skills to their peak. Have access to exclusive parties and events where socialites gather and entertain. One of the ways to do this, as mentioned, is to intentionally join clubs where you will enjoy the activity. Find purpose as well as meet people who are winners in the game of life. As I have said, don't make dating your priority. Make success your priority and dating should be secondary or tertiary to that. If you are healthy, fit, and successful, women of high caliber will want to date you and more. Yeah, because Monty is a man of high caliber, I'm sure. There's one more on here that I feel we need to go through, and that is one called, This is when you should stop texting a girl. Monty also posted this in 2020, almost three years ago to the day I'm recording this, which is August 28th of 2023. It has this lovely picture of two people that look happy to be texting each other. And it says, you should stop texting a girl when she does not reply to you. And there you would think that that would be the end of the article, but it is not. It goes on to say, this doesn't mean she is not replying when she is justifiably busy, but she is not replying because she legitimately is not busy, sees your text, and just doesn't want to reply. This could be because she was just using you as an emotional pillow, wasting time due to boredom, trying to have and maintain a transactional relationship, or she just lost interest because she found someone else or you said something wrong. If you text her and you know she is not doing anything, yet you have given her a reasonable amount of time to reply and she doesn't, then that can be a huge clue that you should stop messaging her. You can try another time, such as messaging the next day or day after, because she could have been in the middle of something and just forgot to message you. So giving a day or two to reply and then following up with a text would be a great idea. If she doesn't reply this time, then it is legitimized that she does not want to talk to you. Typically, when a woman starts to slow down with the texts and replies, then that already gives you a clue. When she gives you one or two word replies, then that is another clue. When you have to message her twice to get a reply, then that is one more clue. How many clues do you need, damn it? Use these clues as red flags that things aren't going so good and that it is best you either try again one last time, take the interaction offline and meet in person, or save your energy and move on.
I found it weird that he was talking about texting online and not actually like having an in real life relationship with somebody. But that is just the start of Monty's problems because Monty has been in quite the drama lately involving women. Dum dum cum cum bum bum. Monty has been in a lot of drama with a lot of people as of late. In fact, if you scroll through Monty's channel, you will notice an array of videos dedicated to responding to other creators in the hater sphere and starting drama with other people, most notably lately with a creator on the platform named Jessica Messica. If you scroll through Monty's live streams, you will notice the same. He's all about the drama, besides his usual reaction to Sean tell and her shenanigans. He's also done several live streams on Jessica Messica. The two have been going back and forth for a while and I tried to piece together all the drama. Mm -hmm. Trying to... She had sent nudes and like in the middle of her live stream she like ran away and threw up which is like sad. I said I read a comment before saying you sent another nudes but I've always said that you deny it and Nada also said you didn't send any news. I honestly don't think you sent any anyways, but that's a whole lot different from what the audio is saying, Jessica Mezica. And of course, her world replies, but you let it spread like wildfire. Bally wouldn't lie and go to Monty for an interview denying the news like you did if he had bought your bullshit and not called you out on the lie. You would have been in his DM slid right up next to Cake Farts and Private Dancer Tiny spread lies then do it on their own panel doing it on your buddy's panel do it on your friend's panel just don't do it on mine by the way could anybody tell me where beans is where is jessica jessica's cat beans i'm just curious why are you br bringing up my cat that we all know where he is we all know he's safe i see pictures of him i actually go to church with the gentleman that has him can you why she's like literally just saying um triggering things at this point like the whole there was nothing about cats on the whole panel i don't understand that was fascinating where the, where the hell being being split with that man um like i literally think she just went on this panel yesterday because i feel like she got excited in many ways about spooky's live stream the other night i think that she was it was something was weird like i'm telling you there was a weird tone to all of her comments so then like, I feel like she went on Monty's panel because she assumed I was gonna watch it and then decided to say purposely triggering things that were like irrelevant to the conversation. Poor Baines. Sorry, you know. <laughs> hey, Monty. Uh, you are Monty. Monty, I am Monty. Who are you? Turn your camera on. In the hell, huh? I am What is this mean? You know what you look like? He looks like, uh, you know, um, from that show, Martin. This is what I was going to say. This is what I was going to say. Question Jessica, too, because she had she's had affairs with married men, too. So it's not just me. I mean, you you're Jessica's friend, right? Or are you y'all y'all cool? So I what about? Monty. Huh? I am the real Monty. We know like Jessica. <laughs> OK, well, <laughs> no. Yes, can we um clarify? I'm not what is the case? So Hurl says that I left your mama because he was being mean to me. And then Hurl says that your mama left me because he's a clout chaser and I'm dragging him down. And then Hurl is saying that me and your mama have something going on and I'm chasing him. Um it's not any of those. I just used to watch his channel and we got along and we thought some similar stuff was funny, period. Like, I don't understand why that's a, still a thing. Possibly live streams and like just trolling people and showing up as like random characters. The cat lives with my mom's quote. My mom's worked at the same place for years and years. And um, her boss's brother has my cat down the road. Um, I'll be honest, I have not visited my cat because it makes me really emotional and I don't even know the guy. So I feel weird just going in this guy's apartment to see my cat and then I know I'm going to cry and it's just weird. So I haven't gone, but I do love him. Swing low, sweet child.
carry on. Coming for to carry me on. What happened to the first cat? I guess we know she uh, had to go to rehab. The second cat, we actually don't have any idea what happened to that cat. Remember that cat with the white stripe? And then we have a third cat, which I believe is the Siamese, right? That she takes around in a stroller late at night. But why didn't she just pick up the first cat in the first place? The cat that she gave away. All right. And here's the last part here. Her world says on a day unexpected, the evidence of that beastie prawn Y'all were watching in Jessica Mesca's YouTube old Discord. Really? Beastie Prawn being watched in Jessica Mesca's old Discord. OMG, what the hell is going on? Where they had an incident of this? Because I think this is something rather serious that needs to be talked about if somebody is actually doing this and if a group of people are actually or did actually watch this in Jessica Mesca's old Discord. It is hard for me to piece together the drama as many of Jessica Messica's live streams about the topic are no longer available when you click on them on her channel, which led me to believe she had something to hide. Then I came across this post she made on her community tab just a few days ago. I am aware that there is a panel happening that will basically be like an elephant in the room if I don't address it. I watched a few minutes of it and would just like to say a few things. The allegations about the 17 year old are completely false. If anyone claims they have evidence about an incident that never happened, I would encourage you to contact the police instead of turning it into YouTube content. Again, it never happened. But if the story being made up involves a 17 year old, then it wouldn't even even be illegal in the state of Connecticut. This is fabricated slander that I will not waste my energy defending further. When it comes to viewing adult content from a free adult website in Discord, I agree it was mean, gross, and immature. I cannot defend the morality of that decision, but in my opinion it was not illegal. If the person involved would like to legally argue that point, then take action. I am not going to constantly explain myself when I have admitted it was wrong. Lastly, the points your mama made involving Monty are not points that I made. I have already addressed everything in my own words. I don't agree with all of your mama's arguments, although I appreciate him speaking out. Bringing up things Monty has done does not undo my poor choices. However, it is disgusting that Monty continues to spread lies about a fabricated incident with a minor when it is not a fact. I also would like to add that I don't think Miami is a predator. I guess I just want to clarify that the opinions of others are not my options just because the person may be defending me. I am not going to spend time defending things I know are false or rehashing things I have already addressed. I cannot stop anything that is happening, but I am choosing to not engage. If that offends anyone, I understand, but I am just doing what I think is best at this moment. And the post was received well. So after that, I decided to stay away from all that drama. Something to do with married people flirting with your mama and pussy cats. Pussy cats, the animal. Then something about people watching bad things on Discord. I'm just not going to touch that one. Lately, Monty has made friends with another lol cow that I have covered on this channel quite often named Bad Boy Tragic, and he seems completely clueless as to why people were warning him about the dude. Um, I don't know tra Tragic like that. I've been warned of Tragic. I've heard of his name. I'm not friends with him. I don't dislike him. Um, the only time I ever heard of... Why are, you, why are people being warned of Tragic? What's Tragic doing? You know what, I I did have Tragic on, and I was also warned of Tragic, but here's the thing about this community. I think you need to develop your, your bonds yourself and let go of what other people are telling you and see a person for who or what they are because there's a lot of shit that goes on. There's a lot of people who will tell you this person is bad, this person is not good, but then if you actually got to know that person, you will know it's a lie like and i'm even guilty of that because there's been many times people have told me a lot of things about other people in the community but my understanding now is like you gotta 
see for yourself. If you want to know more information about who Tragic is, watch the videos on him, Monty. Tragic is a whole ass problem on here, and a lot of people have spoken out about it. Monty also seems obsessed with Gigi in a weird way. Not sure what the fuck this meme is here, but he seems to be under the impression Gigi is a groomer and groom tragic who now gets teased for being gay for pay due to flirting with Gigi for cash. There was no grooming and I've discussed this here already. So it's fair to say Monty wants to get involved in whatever drama he can. Although the latest drama that popped off in Girl World was something he should have stayed far away from. my life for years and continue to change my life changing it into something else whether it's for mental health whether it's for physical health whatever it is starting new business just whatever it is as long as it's positive it's for the best make sure that we propel ourselves to our higher self what i mean by higher self let's do this for 2020 guys you know propel yourself to a higher self Make sure that, you know, your life is a positive. Monty decided to cover the Kaya Simons life situation. For those that aren't aware of what happened, first of all, I'm jealous. Secondly, I'll give you a quick TLDR. Since I covered the situation here on my channel already, Kaya is a hater nation or girl world creator, whatever you want to call the community that covers foodie beauty. Her boyfriend ended up having a record that involved kidnapping and pimping out minors. There's a reason why there was a trigger warning at the beginning of this video so Monty covered this situation as many of us did it would have been fine except there were a few questionable moments that ended up captured on Kiwi farms I don't have any remorse what why are the reasons why people will be pissed off I think he really needs to look reflect and maybe have an understanding that some people don't like things where minors no matter if you feel they are consenting and they're down and you know it's all good and you know they 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 were okay with it and they knew what was going on at the end of the day they're still people with undeveloped brains so i think what should if they're still gonna do the sunday thing and he's still gonna come up and talk he needs to he needs to parlay that understanding to us that hey what i said that i didn't have any remorse i actually talked about it i reflected on it and he, now I can understand why you guys were upset with me when I said that. Oh, well, let's hear what you've got to say about this. So for those of you who don't know, Kaya said that in this whole situation, there wasn't an actual victim. Even though he was charged and did time over the crime. So let's, let's hear it, Monty. Buckle up, bitches. I'm sure we're going to go for a motherfucking ride. Okay, get your hands inside the cart. Please sit still, make sure you're buckled in, let's go. It depends on your feelings of the situation. Some people are gonna say, hey, it's a child, there is no consent. While other people are like, well, 17 years old, they they wanna be hoeing, so they're, they're gonna hoe. It's either they're gonna be hoeing with me or they're gonna be hoeing with somebody else. So it didn't sit right with people how he seemed to side a bit with Kaya's boyfriend, Terrence. Monty also ended up having Kaya on his panel, and that ended up being a disaster. He barely mediated the conversation as other creators, such as Marty, who's known for trolling the lol cow, Cyrax, asked her questions, and she dodged responsibility and seemed to come up with more excuses than they had already come up with. <laughs> All right, we'll just keep waiting for Kaya. She got the link, so if she wants to come up, she says she's coming up, so... Yeah, it has been a wild night. Um, I didn't expect her world to come up and say her piece. So no, uh, what wasn't uh, wasn't Jessica Mexica saying her world is now what Christina de Latina? Mhm. Mm All right, we got we got Kaya. I see you, Kaya. You turning off that cam? You keeping that on? All right. Um, okay, if you want to turn it off, turn it off in five seconds as I'm putting you on. I have to and put let's the mattress go. in the kitchen right quick. Come on, Battle Lou. Come Betty on, Lou. Is, is, Come that on. A, is that the name of your dog or one of the children that your husband's pimping out? Marty, either we're going to do this the real way on here. It's a or question. It's a pure question. You know what I mean? Come like on, a pure question. I don't know. Come why on, Bella. Like, Come I on, Bella. I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Give me, Come here, Bella. 
it's okay. Come on, I'll be right back. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. <laughs> Stella, come on, girl. Come here. Yeah. Good girl. I'll be right sure. back, okay? Good girl, pal. It was an honest question. I, like, I see how you would think that was a joke, considering how horrendous. You know, I, I'm dead ass. Times your husband. Either we can do this on here and be cool, and but let I can me assure talk. You, and, okay, Mark, can, like, is, this, so, is this what we're gonna do? We're gonna play games, and then you, I'll just you do it on my channel. Like, how that's a fair question, right? Marty, I'm being serious. Yeah. I'm giving everybody. <laughs> they can <laughs> ask questions. I'll explain the best yeah. that I can. All this happened way before we got together. Okay. Yeah. The girl had an ID. Again, I'm not justifying that. She had an ID. She had an ID. The cops took the ID. He had no this this hold on y'all. Let me plug up. Um there was an ID. There was no an ID. Like what he is he want to buy like the board? She had a fake he, ID, unfortunately. She and had a there fake ID for her pimp. Marty, he he didn't so he only, he only pimps out women over the age of 18 21 and... marty i'm not trying to it was a different time in his life i'm not excusing it no i'm not no. absolutely but it Can I ask wasn't else you're living now we just out of curiosity marty are you serious so what? y'all want him to work or you don't want him to work i'm, just, I'm wondering so, that's a, marty, like, why can't i not ask any questions do you really think that I'm going to let anybody wreck? So are people supposed to reform? Or are they supposed to not reform? Well, uh, like, so I'm not asking. Marty, you come on I'm just asking what industry he works come in. Come on. Question? Come on, Marty. So, come on. Why is that not a fair question? Marty, I'm not making an excuse. But like I said, she had an ID. Yeah. Okay. Nobody I mean, knew like that she was a minor. Nobody in the whole house even the other people that were there nobody knew she was a minor am i excusing that absolutely not should they all have been you know if people wanted to participate that were older in that shit, absolutely they should have did more due diligence and what shit? i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say you just said participate in, in in that shit. what do you mean by that shit? i'm curious there was other people that stayed in this household that okay. were older that so, were doing their thing okay wow okay so he, he it sounds like a brothel basically it wasn't a brothel everybody had their own room did their own things came and go as they went it, it wasn't a brothel okay so he said that he had pimps before her and after her what he was meaning by that was and like i said that was a <laughs> shitty ass comment to make i will absolutely totally say that yeah but what he was meaning was she continued to live the lifestyle after all that had went down. Am I excusing so he, that? What, no. What he said was that I remember she had pimps before me and she had pimps after me. So where does he fit into that equation? He was a pimp during the time that she was with him. And there was pimps before and pimps after him. Like he pimped her. Like let, let's just call it what it is. Why can't you just be honest? I'm being honest. She paid for it. That is how it all the money came into play of how the files went down. When they came in, they seen her clothes were there and that she had her own room. That is how all the money came into play. I mean, this is all like a pretty big insult. And now I'm dealing with the consequences. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've let everybody down. And I hate that more than anything. Fuck me. I'll be all right. But I hate seeing everybody hurt. I don't want to see anybody hurt. And that was never my intention. So please, if you learned anything from that, I never meant to hurt any of you. I never wanted to drum up your fucked up childhood if you had one. I really tremendously apologize. And so to see from the bottom of our hearts. So I know that you did so you 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 say you're not going anywhere you're gonna continue to be online what do you plan on doing going forward being online because one of my questions that i did ask was you know you do your foodie beauty reactions you judged her very harshly she made some messed up decisions and i i and, understand mm -hmm. that and i've mm -hmm. been i've not been hiding i've been reflecting on all that i've mm -hmm. i've 
been sitting right fucking here thinking about all that. I'm not hiding. I plan on coming on maybe at the beginning of next week. I, you know, I have some prior engagements. I do really help my grandma. Everything I've told you guys, you know, people probably don't believe me at this point, but everything, but I, I'm not a character. I've always been me. I am in recovery. Everything I've told you guys is, is me. I'm I, sorry, got a, guys. I got a it's, question, Kaya. It's raining bad. Can you guys hear me? Do you want me yeah, to shut the window? Yeah, we can hear you clear. I it's got a question important. for you, Katya. Go um, ahead. Uh, for the for Terrence, um, the last video he said that he was sorry for what had happened. What steps has he he taken to like give back to society, give back to the community? Because, like I've said before, uh, I have uh, volunteer with lots of people that have done like some really bad stuff in their past, and they they always will get the remorse and try to give back some part mm -hmm. of the community um but what I, has he done absolutely i i don't want to i've i've got to be careful because he has changed his life um but has he has he done something to give yes back to but i okay. also have to be careful that i don't want to wreck what we've built from the ground up so he he does a lot of stuff i i i mean but whoop. Our life still has to move on, you know, believe it or not, um, YouTube does not pay my bills and I wasn't being mean when I said that. I wasn't trying to string you guys along like Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It was just the time of frame that we had available between things he has going on in his life. So it wasn't to like build up anticipation. It was just when the schedule was clear and, you know, um, I got to be careful because I know, you know, just like, you know, some people are, you know, th this is why it's hard to kind of explain and try to explain things. But I also have to, this is my real life and this is his real life. And YouTube does not pay my bills, believe it or not. I know people think that, but, you know, I, I. When I said, you know, by our life still having to go on, I meant job wise. Like I wasn't meaning like, oh, he's still in the game or any of that. I was meaning like work wise. He may have had a domestic violence charge or rape right before around that time. I honestly, I, I don't want to lie to y'all. I honestly don't know, to be honest with you. Now we had a altercation one Halloween that I ended up getting it all got dropped once we went to court but um where we cut off was so we were we went to a halloween party got off work long story short went to a bar we were walking out and dude was like or you know the n-word and i was like yo what the fuck did you say and the cops came because it became a whole ordeal like the people that were with us the people that were the, with them and it became, and then the cops rolled up and T was like, yo, come on. And I was like, cool. And then the cops rolled up, but it, it all got through. I think I, I don't even know if I got it disorderly or I don't know, but that's, I, I can speak upon that. I don't know if that's what they're talking about, to be honest with you or not. So that's what fucked me up tonight. That's why I was like, yo, yo, wait a minute. Throw me the link because there's <laughs> so much being spun out here that you know, people are like, go fucking hide, go climb in a hole. Man, get the fuck out of here. If I don't come back tomorrow, if y'all don't ever see me again, Kai ain't have no fucking relations with no kids. Kai have been with grown ass men. Fucking shit. I'll bring the motherfuckers on here that are alive. So that's why, you know, yo mama took about, well, that's like Kaya and, and, the, and the kid. What the fuck are you talking about? Kaya ain't never have no relationships with no kids. So you've said, you've said what you've had to say. You've apologized numerous times. You've explained your story numerous times. You know people are still going to be talking, talking shit, right? Absolutely. I, I never thought I would get on here and it would be all fucking fun and games. But the reason why I'm on here and I'll say it again, and I'll say it again. I owe you guys, those that have, you know, talked to me, even had a conversation, maybe typed in my chat, fuck, maybe even left a comment. I apologize to each and every one of you. 
I never meant to hurt you, creators, viewers, silent watchers. I apologize, for real. I never wanted to hurt anybody. I see people talking about their past. That shit fucks me up. I never wanted anybody to be hurt over me. And that shit, I'm gonna be all right, like I said, but that shit fucks with me more than anything too. I don't never wanna come on here and hurt nobody. That was never my intentions. Never, never come on here to hurt. All I wanted to do was, was share my story. And if I could help one fucking person get clean, get out the lifestyle, whatever the fuck I could do and, and help you guys to help me, to help each other. That's all my plan ever was. But it fucks me up to know that I, I never meant to hurt any y'all. And please know that. Like, if you don't ever fucking talk to me ever again, or you don't ever fucking want anything to do with me, I understand that. But please know that I, I apologize. And I don't ever want to hurt y'all. That was never my intentions. I know shit's fucked up. Like, I don't think I'm going to come on here and life's going to be great. That's not why the fuck I'm on here. I'm on here saying I'm sorry. I don't even know what the fuck I want to do. This shit is like people coming at people left and right and the way people treat people. That shit, I mean, that shit, I, I've watched the last three weeks and it's like, God damn, like, I don't even like that shit. Like, believe it or not, that ain't my motherfucking M.O. I don't want to see nobody squirm. I don't want to see nobody hurt. I don't want to hurt motherfuckers. And, and I look back these last three weeks and I'm like, man... That, I, I don't like that shit. Believe so, it or not, I, I, mean, I don't like that shit. You you apologize, you apologize again. This is enough apologizing. Whoever heard your apology is going to hear it. Whoever didn't hear it is not gonna hear it, no matter how many times you, that you say it. I feel, and this is just my opinion, and I'm gonna, I'll, I'll leave it with this. It's over. It's over. You've had a good run, and you. I think that you like really need to step back think about it if you really want to come back because this shit is stressful you're crying you're smoking cigarette cigarette after cigarette I mean, but I you need to regardless that well I mean, but you need to you need to step back and see if you really want to come back and deal with this because it's not going to go away i'm not saying that's where y'all yeah. are getting this shit miss yeah. i don't think this shit is hey, going to go this shit will follow me forever hey monty yeah. guys i'm sorry to break in i'm fixing to um go I have right, to go ahead. And me. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank right. you. Thank you, Kyle. Thank, thank you, everybody. All right. All right, Monty. I know you're probably tired, so I don't want to. I don't want to go in circles, and I know you've been on here forever. So look, I'm gonna leave this shit at this. I appreciate each and every one of you. I never meant to hurt you. Please don't come at Bridget. Please don't come at Monty. Please don't come at Skinny. Please don't come at Miami for asking me questions. Please don't. They're just asking me questions, you know, asking what's on their mind, asking what's on my mind, y'all. And listen, I know shit's fucked up. I want to say this. I never meant to hurt y'all. That was never my intentions. If you fuck with me, great. If you don't, I get it. I mean, it's your it's your channel. I get it. You can do whatever you want, but a lot of people want to see you permanently gone. A lot of girls, some that. people want to see you permanently gone off the internet. I understand. So it's really up to you, but people are going to come at you if you stay on on YouTube. I know that. Over I'm, and over I'm, and over I'm an adult. I, I know that. But be kind to each other, y'all, for real. Like, you never know what people are going. And I'm not talking about me. This, this is all just... It's just to watch, just... People are just, it, we, we've lost, even I've lost the plot. We come on here to have fun. Just, if you don't like somebody, don't fuck with them. You don't know what they're going, and I'm not talking about me. You don't know what they're going through at home. You don't know what they're going through in life. Just, just, it's, it's, it's getting wild, y'all. People are getting docs. People are, their families fucked with, and it's just, even I've lost the plot. And I apologize for that. 
All right, Kaya. Um, thanks for coming on the panel and talking about uh, certain things, answering certain people's questions. I'm sure some people might feel some questions haven't been answered. Some people might feel some questions haven't been answered in full. And they you know everybody can just make up their own opinion on what is going to happen because I'm sure by tomorrow there's going to be a lot of people reacting to this. So uh, I all I can say is this has been a long stream. Yes. Uh, I didn't expect yes. to be on this late. I'm sorry. And hey, people, make up your own decisions from this. I mean, we had a lot of people on, a lot of creators on this. Was and uh, <laughs> yeah. Take care of yourselves, people. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. To sum it all up, the entire thing was a disaster, and it did not help Kaya, if that's what Monty was trying to do. She made herself look worse on his show. Mind you, maybe that's what he wanted to do. He was known to be a friend of hers and may have felt pressure to discuss the topic due to that and then allow her on the panel. He is grimy though and doesn't seem to be a good friend to anyone on the platform. He has had a lot of drama with his mods and has been called out for being creepy to women as we discussed in my last video. So I'm going to let you all take this information about all this and do what you want with it. I just had to put it out there. Boom, boom, gum, gum, dum, dum. <laughs>I found one more post of Monty's that gives us a good look into his psyche. He has been known to gaslight in several situations, and I found him discussing this on his NoFab website. I found it funny, okay? It reads, Gaslighting is easier to catch. With the advent of smartphones, social media posts, and messaging apps, it is now easier than ever to catch gaslighting lies and faux pas behavior easier than ever when compared to the heydays of the baby boomers. Gaslighting is a term used to describe the emotional manipulation of one romantic partner by another, typically coercing the victim into believing they're at fault or mentally unstable for being upset by the manipulator's decidedly terrible behavior. Gaslighting has been nothing new in modern day society and generations of men and women have felt the abuse and emotional trauma of this kind of behavior. From baby boomers to Generation X to Millennials and Generation Z. Thanks to Theodore Dorpat and his 1944 movie Gaslight, we have a term to describe such behaviors done by people that that are just appalling and one of the worst things you can do to a partner. And I found that very interesting. I also covered gaslighting on my channel, so you can check that out. It's in the definitions playlist. Monty, I want you to remember you wrote that the next time you try to weasel your way out of some nasty drama, okay? Monty is known to be manipulative and to be a bit of a creepy incel on the platform, and not just due to his weird thoughts on women. He sees the world as every incel sees the world, and seems to think his worth equates to what type of woman he can get with, and some social status that sounds like it was written in a novel in the 1960s. I mean, who goes to a yacht club for status? Is that even a thing anymore? My thoughts on this is that Monty has not seemed to learn from his past mistakes and being called out. He's still getting mixed up in drama and making friends with people who we shouldn't trust, such as Tragic. He's going after Gigi for grooming when that's ridiculous, and I've just had enough of the dude. He needs to log off and take a break. Maybe he should take Jessica Messica with him. Stay far away from this guy because you don't want to end up being just some story on the internet. Thanks so much for watching everyone. If I forgot anything, please enlighten me in the comments down below and let me know what your thoughts are on Monty's stories from the internet. Do you watch his content? Why or why not? And no matter where you are or what you're doing, I hope you all have a fabulous rest of the day. Sorry this video was late, I wanted to work hard on it, but I hope it was worth the wait, and I'll see you all really soon with another one. Take care, much love, bye! And Monty, stop being such a creepy incel weirdo. Bum bum gum gum dum dum. <laughs>
I'm about to go off like a weapon Fuel to the top, got a filled up engine In my thoughts obsession I will not stop, no I'm never second guessing I got a god complex Haters love to hate but I never feel pressed Got a lot on my plate but I never get stressed I'll take all the pressure like I'm facing this test oh. Tear it up like I'm Jason I see the world like it's ready for the taking I see this place like a game I'm playing Straight to the bank to collect my payments No negotiations It's my way, I was born impatient And like a damn Freemason I'll run this nation They call me a